So we learned today that the FBI last month on July 26 raided the home, one of the homes of Paul Manafort, who was the campaign chairman for President Donald Trump for a period of time last year. We want Americans to understand who Donald Trump the man is. Not it's not surprising Trump necessarily, but it's very significant and it indicates career. that special counsel Robert Mueller and his team of investigators remain very interested in Mr. Manafort's financial transactions and that Mr. Manafort remains a, uh, an important part of the ongoing investigation into potential coordination between the Trump campaign and Russia. So it actually requires what's called probable cause, that a crime has been committed. So you're not saying somebody's guilty, but you lay out before a judge, we're going to go into somebody's home, we're going to violate their privacy, but we think we have reason to do that because we think we're going to find potential evidence of a crime, and it, it tends to be very specific about the nature of the evidence you're looking for and the nature of the criminal activity you believe might have been committed. One point I would make, though, is that Mr. Manafort was in the process of cooperating with Congress, and his lawyers have said he would cooperate with anyone who's asked him. And so it's not surprising that a, a raid is done, but in this, these circumstances, it is a fairly aggressive action. Certainly a raid is, is, uh, is a common investigative tactic, but sure, it indicates that they already have had reasons you know, prior to the raid last month to believe that they were going to find information that was going to help them build a case we don't know exactly what the nature of that evidence is or, or exactly what was turned over or what was taken from the home. But yes, it, is, it, it absolutely is an indication of seriousness. We just know that this is a, uh, it's a, a secret investigation. We know from our reporting last week that Special Counsel Mueller is using a grand jury um, in Washington, in a Washington federal court, um, to begin the process of issuing subpoenas and, and um, ultimately having witnesses uh, who might appear before it. Um, but so this is a, a significant uh, step.